Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my health and wellness channel. So I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video for you guys and I've just been busy traveling, but I'm back and I plan on getting back to the weekly videos for you guys. So what I'm going to make tonight is probably one of my, well, it's probably one of my husband's favorites actually. It's um, chicken meatball subs. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by preheating my oven. I'm going to preheat that to 425. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mix up all my ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to have is you're going to get some ground chicken at the store. Okay. Most grocery stores carry this. So I'm going to add this to my bowl here. And you can also do this with your ground turkey if you want also. I'm going to add one egg. I'm going to add about half a cup of breadcrumbs, um, Italian style breadcrumbs. Some meat tenderizer. I usually do about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. I'm just eyeballing it guys because that's what I do, but you guys can measure it out. About half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of garlic powder. about a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay, so take my ring off so I don't get anything on my ring. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up in the bowl. Gonna add a little bit more breadcrumb. I think I may not have added quite a half a cup when I was estimating there. did was I actually already sprayed it with some olive oil uh, cooking spray and so I'm just gonna put the meatballs onto the cookie sheet here so you can make them as small or as big as you want to I'm gonna make them a little smaller because the husband likes them a little smaller and um, you're just gonna drop them on the drop them on the cookie sheet Okay guys, so as you can see here, I have all the meatballs on the cookie sheet. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. And while those are cooking, so I'm gonna set my timer here. <clears throat> okay, so while those are cooking guys, I'm gonna have my skillet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the sauce started. So for the sauce, you're gonna need a can of crushed tomatoes about 28 ounces. You're gonna need some basil leaves. And if you like things a little spicy, you can put some crushed red pepper flakes in there. And you're gonna need some chicken stock, okay? So I'm just gonna put, turn this on to medium heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the bottom of the skillet. Maybe about a fourth a cup. Go ahead and open my, open my uh, tomatoes here. the skillet here. Probably add about a teaspoon of basil and I don't like things too spicy so I'm just gonna add like a pinch of crushed red pepper. One, two, that's it. Not adding too much. And then a half a cup of chicken stock. I'm actually gonna measure this out. grab a spoon here and just mixing that together oh one other thing I forgot I like to add some garlic to the sauce also I know we add them to the meatballs um, probably about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder or if you have fresh garlic you can do about two cloves of crushed um, 
crushed garlic. So there we go. So I added that in. I'm just gonna mix this up so it's all evenly distributed in there. And I'm gonna leave this on medium heat while the meatballs, um, while the meatballs finish cooking. All right guys, so the meatballs are finished. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the oven. It's been about 15 minutes. So as you can see, they are brown on top there. That's how you want them. And basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the meatballs and I'm gonna put them in the sauce. So this is a little hot. So I'm literally just gonna take my spoon or my meat, meat sauce and literally stick them in the sauce. And once I have them all in here, guys, I'm gonna let this simmer for probably about five minutes before I actually um, make the subs, the meatball subs. And I'll show you guys how to do that in just a few minutes. All right, guys, so it's time to make the subs. So I got some sub rolls here. You can get whatever kind of sub rolls you, you like, of course. Um, and I put those on a cookie sheet. So what I'm gonna do, since these sub rolls are a little smaller than your traditional sub roll, um, I'm actually gonna put two meatballs on each sub. So like so. And what you guys can do is, you know, you make them depending on how you like it. You know, my husband doesn't like a lot of sauce on his, so I won't put a lot of sauce on his, um, but you can make them however you would like. I'm gonna show you how I make mine because I like sauce on mine. So I put a little bit of sauce on the top there, like that. And then you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. Um, I'm actually on mine, I'm gonna put some um, loose fat mozzarella cheese on mine, shredded. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna make the other two for my husband and stick them in the oven and I will show you what they look like when they come out. All right guys, so they are finished. The cheese is melted. Take these out of the oven. And there you have it. So there are some, a healthier version of a meatball sub. And like I said, super quick, super easy to make. I mean, it's literally took me like 20 minutes total to make. Um, very quick and easy weeknight meal for you guys. So um, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It's Ashley's Health and Wellness. Um, or you can follow me on Instagram. My name is Fetty Peaches. And I hope you guys have a great night.